This sales assistant really should have paid more attention to her customer. By the end of our story, she'll know why. What are you going to do if the service is genuinely bad? You're not going to do a Donald Trump and just sort of say, You're mate, fired. <laughs> no. You won't do that? No. Would my mother recognise me? She won't anymore. She will not know who you are. No candor there? All good, Jerry? Mm hmm. Great. Whenever I go into the store as me, then I never get what the real reaction is to a customer. I can't tell. It's important for me to be someone else. And so our hoax is born. Once disguised, Jerry will raid his stores undercover, a role he is clearly relishing. The moment we've all been waiting for. Don't you want to see what he looks like? All right, Jerry, you ready? Yes. Open wide. Oh, he knows this. All dressed up and somewhere to go. The executive chairman of Harvey Norman enters his own shop for the first time as a new man. How are you both today? Good, thank you. The assistant in the bedding section starts well enough with a nice hello, but it goes pear-shaped very quickly. Well, I don't know what I want, actually. The salesperson could make a suggestion, but instead she freezes. I'd like to wake up in the morning feeling a bit better than I do, you know? Yeah. More silence from the assistant. That girl was terrible. She was? She was terrible. Little does she know that this is unfolding in front of the man who prides himself on having one of the greatest retail businesses in the world. See, that girl really needs a lot of training. She's not good. You're disappointed. Yeah, I am. I am. A new section, a new employee. Oh, well, if we're interested, we'll come back one day. I was interested, but... Um, I've actually wanted to buy one. Yeah, well, they're all for sale. Again, Jerry's unimpressed. She wasn't very good either. Jerry has reached boiling point. Were he a real customer, he may never be back. Is the manager in? Nathan. The manager. Who's the manager? Nathan. Yeah. Do you want to grab him for you? No, 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 it doesn't matter. A disguised billionaire heads into another store. That's what you want, son. You do realise it is something like that. The good thing with this one, too, it's got an auto water uh, sensor level, too. So if you're only doing a small load, it only uses as much water as it actually needs to. Now, this is music to Jerry's ears. You're a pretty knowledgeable young bloke on this sort of stuff. Yeah, I like That's what I've got to be. How did you go in there? Well, you know, the first salesman was very good, and so was the second one. Plasma's the best, is it? Well, plasma's still very good. Um, it's not a case of which one's better than the other. It's just which one suits you better. Very smooth. And such a wealth of product knowledge. You'd think this guy knew it was the boss he was talking to. But when we returned a little later with full camera crew, Jerry was so well disguised, they wouldn't let us in. Hello. Hello. How are you? Good. Um, sorry. No, no, they were, they're all right. We want to see the manager. No, I'll get the manager. Is the manager in? Chaos. A strange old man with a TV crew. Staff hit the phones. Where's the manager? I'm one of the department managers. Well, mate, we just want to have a chat to you about your service. Yep. What's Do you happened? think it's good? I believe it is, yes. Mm. Do you think it's good, sir? I think your service is outstanding. Do you? That's pretty good. Oh, that's fantastic. Revealing his true identity, some of Jerry's staff are gobsmacked. Yeah, I didn't recognise him at all. <laughs> I never would have recognised that, him. That yeah. doesn't matter in here. <laughs> <laughs> that was brilliant. That was unbelievable. Or believable. For Jerry, the stunt worked. His staff will be watching this story tonight and they'll get a simple message. The boss will go to any lengths in the pursuit of good service. Any lengths in pursuit.